And before we start, I would like to thank Masamune Studio for sponsoring this video and more about them later. Hi everyone, Agunpla here. Thank you for joining me for another unboxing. And today we're gonna unbox the high grade Gundam The Origin Zaku 2, which is the Red Comet version. And uh, looking at the cover art, you can see the Zaku 2 here for Char Aznable. And at the back, you can see the uh, other Zaku 2, uh, which is the standard Zaku 2. So uh, the Red Comet version, uh, I'm gonna give a short story about it. Is that during the bat Battle of Loom, uh, Char requested a mechanic to remove the limiter of the Zaku 2. So with that one, uh, Char actually managed to uh, utilize the uh, Zaku 2 100%. And he managed to shut down 5 battleships. And um, the difference between this uh, Zaku 2 and the another Zaku 2 from the high grade origin line is that this one has uh, an additional weapon as well as some markings for the uh, Falmer plate. So this one is the Falmer uh, fleet logo. So uh, Char was the captain of the Falmer plate uh, during the Battle of Loom because the Zaku 2 was so fast during that battle. It actually uh, left a trail and a red trail and because of that he got the moniker the red comet so looking at that cover art this one is a really nice cover art for the Zaku 2 so as you can see this is the high grade logo for the Gundam the origin and then you have the origin logo here for the anime and then you have the name and this one was released in 2000. 19 and that's april 2019 if i'm not mistaken and it has the blue bandai logo and looking at the side you can see the front and rear uh, view of the model kit as well a short description or a short story regarding uh, the zaku 2 or uh, red comet version so if you want to read it just pause it and then on this end, you can see a short description regarding the Origin uh, series, so specifically the Origin 6. So that's the, um, I think that's the episode number or the movie number. And then on this side, you can see the uh, cover art with the number. So this is the 24th for the Gundam Origin series or model kit line rather. Then you have the name. And then on this side, you can see a action pose. So showing some additional weapon. So you have the machine gun here. And then you have the belt fed machine gun. As well as the bazooka, the hit hawk, and then the anti-ship rifle. And then here you have the manipulators. So you have um, some number of manipulators that you can choose to create some poses. And then here are the markings for the um, after the battle and the Falmer uh, markings. And then on this side, you can see the traditional or standard warnings. You have the plastic warnings there. Then you have the barcode here. And then here it's just the duplicate of the other shorter side. So we're going to see what's inside the box. Let's check how many bugs do we have. So this is the first bag. Second. Third. And then fourth bag. So we all, all in all we have four bags in the box. And then this is the manual. So looking at the manual we have the cover art here. We have the description regarding the Zaku 2. We have specs in here as well, so you, you can um, pause it and then just read it. And then at the back, we have the uh, similar uh, artworks from the box. We have the markings and then a description, the machine gun, the backpack, and the weaponry in there. And then here it explains the Palmer unit. So if you want to read it, just pause it. Then we have the decal guide or the sticker guides and marking guides here. 
as well as the color guide at the bottom. So let's open the manual. So looking at the manual inside, you have the color building instruction in the spread. And then you have the traditional building instruction for the high grade. So it's pretty similar. We have the black and white building instruction here as well as the um, runner list. And it shows that some of the parts are not going to be used for this kit. Because this one is pretty identical to the um, high grade origins uh, one, which is the Zako 2. So that's your manual for the high grade Zako 2 red comment version. And we're going to check the individual runners. First, we have the A1. So A1 is in the reddish color. So you can see the shield here and the shield armor, the manipulator uh, armor there, as well as the head part here. So that's your A1. Next, we have the A2. So this one is in a dark, darker maroonish red color. So most of these are armors. So you can see that's the skirts. And this one is the a chest plate armor. So that's your A2. Next is the B1 runner. So B1 runner comes in the a uh, little darker gray color. So these are the base of the feet, the chest armor, and some of the knees, probably elbow armor in there too. Next is the B2 runner. So B2 runner comes in a um, orangey red color. So it's totally different from the maroon color that we have from the A2. Look at the difference. So B2 is the backpack. Uh, and that's your B2. Next we have the C runner. So C runner is in the uh, pinkish color. And these are the soft plastic uh, for the pipings and stuff for the Sako 2. So that's your C runner. Next, we have the D runners. So we have two D runners. They're in a grayish olive color. So this is a duplicate of that one. And these are the inner frame or inner parts for the legs and some of the shoulders. So that's your D runners. Next is the E1 runner. So the E1 runner comes in a, a pinkish red color, which is similar to the A1 color. And these are uh, mostly the armors for the legs and the tie. And this one are the armor for the feet. So that's your E runner. Next, we have the F runner. So F runner comes in the standard gray color. So all of these are the weapons. As you can see these are the Hit Hawk. And you can see this one is a little bigger. You have the manipulators here, the magazine, the, the rifle, and the bazooka in here. So that's your F runner. And next is the H3 and H2 runner. So this is also in the standard gray color. These are the weapons. So you have the rifle here, the magazine, and another rifle there. So that's your H3, H2 runner. Next is the OW2 runner. And this is the uh, magazine or the belt for the rifle. Because the rifle is belt fed. So that's the belt for it. So that's your OW runner or OW2 runner. Lastly, we have the PC parts or the polycaps. And we have a ample amount of PC in here. And they're in the traditional gray color. So that's your PC or polycaps. Next, we have the sticker or the decals. So this one will distinguish the difference between the high grade origin uh, number one Zaku 2 and the high grade origin Zaku 2 Red Comet. So you have the markings for the Falmer pleat here. So that's your uh, stickers. And that was the unboxing of the high grade Gundam the Origin Zako 2 Red Comet version. This is pretty much similar to the first from this line, which is the Zako 2. Uh, 
Uh, the only difference is that they have additional weapons and uh, additional markings or stickers. I would like to thank Masamune Studio for sponsoring this video. And if you want to grab this kit or any other kit from the high grade origin lines, you can visit their website and check from the wide variety of model kits. They have P Bandai's, they have other kits, they have tools, building materials, paints, and many more. So please check their website, link in the description. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And please share it to your builder friends. And lastly, thank you for watching and keep building.